know, the best thing about OSF is, is our mission and our mission partners. Um, the mission here is just alive and our mission partners just are a, a daily expression of what the sisters called us to do in terms of serving the sick and the poor. Um, this isn't just a job or something you wake up every day, but you're actually called to be here to serve. And you know, that really makes, uh, that, that makes it a special place to be. As the hospital's grown over the years, uh, the current chapel is located where our front door once was. And so for the first 45 years of this building, uh, the chapel was, was very visible. This used to be the front of the hospital years ago when the hospital was first built. So with all the new construction and stuff around it, this is just realigning things the way they should be by the, you know, the original design. So moving the chapel to the, the front of the hospital, again, means more accessibility. You know, here we're in a space that's hard to find. You know, right in the middle of surgical services, the outside of its plane, we're here, unfortunately, you, you get lost. It looks just like another maintenance door from the outside. So the new design will also make sure that everyone knows that when you're coming into the chapel, and they you know, they know for sure that's the location of it, not only from the exterior of the hospital, but also from the interior. This is going to have a visual representation from the outside of the building as well as in. You're going to know that that chapel is there when you pull up to our main entrance, when you walk in that door there will be um, a physical presence of that chapel there. So the new space, that way it's planned, is that it would have movable seating, so it could be reconfigured in various ways. The aisles would be wider, so not only would we be able to take a wheelchair in there, but if we had a patient who was uh, bound to a stretcher or a bed, uh, we could actually take that patient in there to experience the service and to experience the chapel without having to leave their bed. Our mission partners here at St. Joseph have totally engaged this chapel project and done so many fundraisers for it, but it would take years and years for the mission partners to raise the money to build that chapel by themselves. We need the community's help. We need the folks at our Crystal Ball to help us to build that chapel. Um, we can't do it alone. We need partners.